So ladies and gents, here's the quick one. This is the pedal uh, that I've been using that I just picked up from the from my buddy Craig at the junkyard, 07 GMC truck. And the issue you can see here is on the truck, it goes here and goes out towards the trans tunnel. Whereas my pedal is all the way to the right and the, this guy's gotta come in. So it's bottomed out already. You'd have to go like above the steering column into the brakes. I mean, you can't, you can't. So you'd have to cut this or do something crazy. So uh, as we've gone over in other episodes of Slop, this is a 05 to 10 Cobalt G5 Ion and Pursuit, I think is the Canadian one. So same thing. This is nice. A few of the drive-by-wire pedal assemblies have a metal bar. This one has a metal bar. You can cut and do whatever the hell you want to this one. So if you look at this, uh, it bends in slightly and I can easily get that cassette on the inside of those bolts. And then I can easily uh, get the pedal height identical to this or wherever I want. So I'm gonna make a bracket that goes through all those bolt holes and then we're I'm probably gonna build a nice piece of angle iron and get the height and everything I want and make sure it has full throw. But yeah, that's, uh, you know, looks fairly stock there with the, the this guy is straight up and down. This guy has the nice straight pattern and this guy has the nice straight pattern. And obviously it connects same plug right into the holly. Ta-da! So, I made this bracket, kids, goes here. And then I made this bracket that's going to get welded on here. And then what this is gonna do is hold it to the stock. Excuse me, it's gonna hold it to that stock pedal bolts. So, working on that next. Lined it up and uh, drew some marker lines on here for where I need this to go on at an angle. And then I'm gonna stop by tractor and get bolts that fit through this, nuts, bolts, uh, et cetera. I might even get ones that go into nut certs, but I might just weld captive nuts on the back or just nut and bolt them and call it a day. So there are my marker lines lining up this guy with this guy. And we're just gonna do a, a tack or two on here and then we're gonna see how all of it lines up. So all mounted up and ready to go and working and happy to just have another thing checked off the list.